In today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. With the recent state of Battlefield 5 being fairly poor, in all honesty, I've been looking for a new game to take up a bit of time before DICE patch it. Call of Duty Modern Warfare is a game that I've been on the fence about since it came out. It looks really fun, it looked like it had a lot of potential there, but I haven't played a Call of Duty game since Black Ops 2. And to be honest, the last Call of Duty game that I put a lot of hours into was actually Black Ops 1, a long time ago. I was a bit apprehensive before coming into it, but now is the best time, I think, to try out a new game with Battlefield, kind of in a transition period, and Modern Warfare has actually surprised me quite a lot. It is a typical Call of Duty game in a lot of ways. It's nothing really too different to what I've played in the past, but then you do have a load of new, really interesting and quite nice changes and additions. And I think Battlefield players will really get along with Call of Duty if you give it a bit of time. So this video is going to act as a bit of a review from a Battlefield player's perspective. If you haven't played Call of Duty Modern Warfare before, I'm not going to play this as some sort of ad to buy it. Watch the gameplay in the background, you've probably seen loads of streams of it, and at this point you've probably made up your own mind. But recently they did actually introduce 3v3 gunfight, which is something I want to talk about for a bit because it is very fun, and then a new map as well, which again... I didn't know it was new when I started playing because I just picked it up as this update dropped, but it turns out it's actually very popular and a lot of people are playing it on the 24-7 rotation. The gameplay in the background, I do apologise if you are a massive Call of Duty fan and you think this is absolutely rubbish. I did my best over the course of around a week of playing it every single evening, ranked up to about 30 or rank 40, somewhere around there, and... I think I've experienced pretty much everything the game has to offer on a shallow level and now I'm trying to unlock stuff and get to grips with things in a bit more depth. In terms of a rating, if I was to give it an overall rating straight away out of 10, I'd say it's a 7 out of 10 in my opinion. I don't think I've rated any Call of Duty higher than that. Black Ops 1 I think I gave an 8 out of 10 because at the time I absolutely loved it, but for me, a Battlefield player it would be very difficult for me to rate Call of Duty higher than a 7 out of 10 with what I've seen from this game. There are some things which are absolutely fantastic, but other things I think let it down quite significantly. So starting out, things I absolutely love. The small game modes that are fast-paced and really hectic. That is what Call of Duty is about, in my opinion. That is why I play it, and it does just such a great job of it. There are some things like the map you see in the background, Piccadilly has had problems with the spawns and things like that and I do feel as if there's a few problems on some of the maps that's something I'll get into in a second but overall fast-paced Call of Duty gameplay I can't really say anything bad about it it's really really fun in terms of the loadouts and customization we have some really interesting loadouts with blueprints and lots of customization options you've got different operators there's just so much depth there Sure, it's linked into microtransactions, but every game is nowadays, you can't really get around it, and you can unlock a lot of stuff anyway. I think it's really good fun, and I've only scraped the surface, really, when it comes to the customization that is on offer. Something that has really impressed me is the campaign, and I haven't included any of the campaign in this video. I've got another video coming up very soon, which is going to be looking at RTX in Call of Duty, which is again something very impressive when you compare it to Battlefield. It runs very, very well in Call of Duty, and it's not over the top RTX. It's just like turning up another graphics setting, which is quite nice. And I feel as if the campaign is gritty, it's doing something that we haven't seen before really on Call of Duty, maybe a little bit back in the past, but not recently anyway. And I'm glad, because a lot of the time these days, people are a bit too much like a snowflake and you put something on a campaign and they all get offended by it even battlefield 3 i made a video on it the other day and peter came out and said that you can't stab a rat because it's animal cruelty i mean that's just ridiculous and call of duty takes it to a completely different level with the campaign it is absolutely fantastic once again blasting battlefield out of the water with its campaign something that we've seen kind of a lot really apart from bf1 i think the campaign in call of duty is usually really really interesting the visuals as i said the game runs really well especially compared to battlefield 5 where i've been having loads of problems and as i mentioned you can put rtx on without any major performance hits you turn rtx on in bf5 and it starts to lag quite a lot it does look really good but it lags a lot in call of duty i've been playing some of the gameplay in the background is with rtx on and it's you know, really interesting and nice to know that this is a feature you can actually use in-game now, which is quite interesting. 
Weapon animation, something else that stood out to me. I think this is a new engine, so there's more potential there really and as you can see with every reload it just looks nice it's quick it's snappy the weapons feel like they have some weight to them if that makes sense and i think call of duty in the past has been quite arcadey and floaty and now I'm, I'm really enjoying what i've got to look at it's kind of weighty and there's some real punch behind the weapons it's awesome Again, they've closed the gap on Battlefield in that regard because I think Battlefield was probably the better game in terms of animations and weapons and feel. Call of Duty was obviously a completely different thing, but now being an FPS game and competing in a similar space, this is closing the gap, which is nice to see. Map design. Now we're getting on to the negatives. Some maps are okay, don't get me wrong. I have played a lot of Call of Duty in the past. I know what the maps are supposed to be like. You've got to have lanes, you've got to have flags that can't be camped, but also can't be held that easily. There's a lot of rotation going on. Spawns are flipping from one side to the other if people get pushed back. In Modern Warfare, I feel as if a few of the maps are good, but a lot of them really do suck. And that's not an opinion that I've just got on my own. That is shared by a whole load of people. A few maps that really stand out as god-awful maps are the Euphrates Bridge. I hate that map so much. And then Piccadilly. Personally, I think it's okay, but that's one a lot of people absolutely loathe. There's a couple of them which, I don't know, they just feel way too open and not the classic Call of Duty experience I'm used to. When it comes to ground war, this is something that a lot of Battlefield players were debating. Whether to pick up Call of Duty because it had this conquest mode. Now, I play Conquest on Battlefield. Battlefield does it best. Battlefield 5, whether you love it or hate it, you can go back and play the older Battlefields if you want a Conquest experience. Go play BF4 and you get this modern Conquest experience with vehicles. Call of Duty, in my opinion, doesn't do it that well. It's pretty fun. You might enjoy it. But the first thing I noticed when I was playing it is everyone camps on a roof with a one-shot sniper. And there's a lot of verticality on a lot of the maps. The vehicles, uh, take it or leave it, they're quite arcadey. I don't really like it, that's me personally. It's not something that I would play. I play Call of Duty for the close quarters, fast-paced action. And that's what all the gameplay in the background showcases. This is why I play it. It's fun, fast-paced. It's interesting to play with my friends. I just really enjoy it. Something else that I think really sucks in Call of Duty, and I hope I'm not alone in saying this, but skill-based matchmaking. I don't see why they do that in this game. You need to have just casual everyone jumps into a server if you get a server full of noobs you get a server full of noobs maybe it balances you with one or two other good players so you have fairly even teams and then maybe you have a ranked mode where you earn far more xp and it's for players that really want to prove themselves that is a better approach and i'm not sure about the player numbers in call of duty modern warfare but i have a feeling a lot of people will be turned off by the fact that you play a good match and you start to improve and then you get chucked in with a load of other players and immediately I was being thrown in because I was playing with a friend of mine in a party who's actually very good at this game we were being thrown in against max ranks like 155 level players with everything and they might not be the best FPS players in the world but they have far more experience at the game they know all the angles and everywhere to stand and hold and peek and they know where the spawns are and that stuff is essential in Call of Duty as you'll know it's really important to have that knowledge alongside being a good FPS player and if I don't have that I just happen to have a good game I get chucked in with better players it can get very frustrating and grindy almost immediately then again it is good I suppose for the players who aren't as good because they're playing against people their level finally footsteps this might just be me, but I've tried every single audio setting in Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and I cannot get footsteps to appear consistent, or, to be honest, most of the time, even get them to be slightly audible. It's very difficult, in my opinion, to play an FPS game where you don't have footsteps. So I've been trying to adapt my game a little bit, running perks that enable me to be a little more sneaky, playing with one eye on the minimap if I can, although the minimap is fairly small. I seem to remember when Call of Duty came out, it didn't even have a minimap, and that was something that a lot of people got annoyed by. You didn't have a minimap, and it was hardcore Call of Duty. Uh, and we've just had Battlefield 5, which was kind of a hardcore attrition-based game that was watered down, and we're seeing the same in Call of Duty. I'm not sure what the attachment to that is recently in FPS games, but personally, I don't play Call of Duty for that. I quite like having a minimap, and... I'm really having to use it a lot as footsteps are quite difficult to hear. 
The 3v3 mode's great fun, 2v2, 3v3, I think that's what's going to get me coming back, to be honest. The fact I can jump in with my mates and play a game that runs really well, looks great, fun, short, fast-paced games with my friends. You can't really ask more than that. I would say one thing though, the game is still very expensive, so getting my friends into play is fairly difficult at the minute. Let me know what you think of this down in the comments. Do you want me to post some more Call of Duty content? I'd be interested to see what you say. As I said, I've got another video that I'm editing at the minute looking at RTX, how good the game looks, and then maybe some on the 2v2 and 3v3 modes, a bit of the campaign and things like that. So let me know what you think of that when it does release. And of course, leave your comments on Call of Duty down below. Are you playing it or are you sticking with Battlefield? Have you gone back and played the older Battlefield games? What are you doing at this point in time where we're waiting for Battlefield 5 to become a better game. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.